everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Two Player Start Plays 1001 Video Games. Today, uh, assuming that you can, like, read and shit, uh, you already know we're playing Space Invaders, because I'm, I'm pretty sure it said it before you clicked on the video, and it's in giant red and yellow letters, like, right fucking there! Much like our logo. Much like our, yes, well, Space Invaders was actually one of the inspirations for I our figured. logo. I figured. Um, so we're actually doing a re-record of this, because, oh man, the sound quality. Well, it sucked, and... We can do better, so, yeah, so we're you, doing this thing. You may notice that our sound quality dramatically improved from last time and drops off substantially next episode. Uh, I'm hoping that won't be the case. We are still too far back here, but whatever. We're doing it, and we're going to get to a billion points. Okay, we're not stopping until we have a billion points. Okay, the high score isn't even like 100,000. Well, you should have thought of that before you made commitments. <laughs> Did I make a commitment? Yeah. Is, is saying things now a commitment? Exactly. It's a... It's a it's a verbal contract, Thomas. Really? Yeah. Really? Yep. Oh. Who did I hide? Who did I sign this verbal contract with? Our entire audience. To people I've never met. Yeah. You really should be careful what you sign verbal contracts with. <laughs> you don't sign verbal contracts. You speak verbal verbal contracts. I'm not really sure how they work. I think verbal contracts probably are bull are bullshit. I'm actually pretty sure that they still exist and work in the legal system. Not my legal system. Not the legal system that I operate by. The legal system of Tom Lincoln? Yeah. How's that working for you? Uh, it doesn't come up very often. <laughs> God damn it, I wanted you to get the mothership. both of those. I know, it's kind of making me cranky. I have wasted both opportunities. So, uh, just to get it out of the way, talk about why you hate Space Invaders. What do you mean? You you do not like playing older games. We've talked about this before on the I show. I don't hate Space Invaders. I just don't feel like... I, I occasionally will play Space Invaders on my own time. Yeah. The amount of... The, the length of time I spend playing it will be shorter than the episode we're about to do. Yeah. I tend to play it for like 10 minutes and then go, Oh, that was fun. Back to other games. That's all the Space Invaders I need for the rest of time? Well, at least for like a year. Oh, okay. How do you beat the first level? I know that you... Oh... Not like that. Good call, good call. I know that you always need your brother to beat the, to kill the last guy for you. I really are are, are we stealing jokes from from uh, Futurama. Futurama already? Isn't this like our <laughs> third episode? No, it's I don't remember what episode this is. It's like a hundred or something, <laughs> or like eight, four. Yeah, it's like six or seven. Okay, but hey. I don't think anyone, even the writers of Futurama, could blame people for stealing jokes from Futurama. When jokes are that good, they get stolen. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, you left that guy alive, right? Shut the fuck up! Oh, okay. I wasn't aware this was such a, uh, a heated topic for you. <laughs> yes. That guy stole my lunch money. And I, I meant to kill him, but I didn't get to it in time. Uh, they are when gonna... he stole your lunch money? Yes. He stole your lunch money and you were like, one day. <laughs> <laughs> You'll rue the day. One day you're going to be sitting there at work and I'll be, and I'll just appear behind you. And your last thoughts will be, shouldn't have stolen that guy's lunch money. <laughs> uh, I wish that's the you'll, way the world worked. You'll know in your final moments why you're dying. Now, when we played this before... Uh, the decision that we made was that we, one of us had to make it past 2,000 points. Okay. Which I did at the very end of the episode. So, how close am I? You're what, like 1,600 right now? How about now? 1,700? It's really hard to see from this far back. 1,800? Like... What was that? You're at 1,800 now. Sweet. I can totally do it. I can make it happen. I'm really waiting for you to get shot. It's good. Well, that could happen too, but I think I have two lives. I might only have one. I can't tell. I don't know how to count. Oh, man, that's got to be crippling. Yeah, especially because we work with, you know, like numbers and stuff. By the way, 2,000. Oh, yeah, well, there you go. Okay, so now we can just play until we're done. Your turn. Oh, oh, I had a, I had another guy, but... Uh, you sure did. He died. <laughs> Here lies guy we didn't care about. Like, <laughs> he was like, he, he got out to the field. He's like, oh, boy, I'm going to do it. Then he was like, guys? <laughs> guys? Got, got, oh, God. Oh, please, move me out of the... Really took that joke to a different place. I was not expecting you to take it that far. So how did you? Are you gonna? You gonna do the thing? Yeah, you gotta press the the one player button. 
Are you gonna Are you gonna do better than me? Are you gonna get more than two thousand? You have to beat two thousand thirty. That's probably not gonna happen. No. Nope. You're not even pushing those buttons with conviction. I'm sorry. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. Press them like you mean it, man. Yeah, there you go. Press the buttons like you're mad at them. Pretend they're me and I owe you money. I don't even need to pretend that you owe me money. Oh, really? You just don't like me? <laughs> I've had to I've had to put up with your shit for 28 years. How's that feel so far? Pretty good on the whole? Yes. Also preparation. Age feels pretty good on the, the whole. whole. So long as we're stealing jokes. jokes. We might as well steal them from Austin Powers. Yeah, I mean, really? you know, the height of comedy. <laughs> 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 sure, I'm glad that we stepped down from Futurama to Austin, Austin Powers. Powers. I mean, I guess you could sit, argue that they both sometimes take place in space and that they're similar in that way. I don't know why you'd want to. Unless you were trying to justify a really bad joke, you got to shoot a little later. It's the second time I've shot just a little too early. I know. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, oh, wait. No. Uh -oh. She, <laughs> didn't, she didn't say a little too early. What did she say? Wait, what? Oh, a lot too early? I hadn't even gotten my pants off. <laughs> Wait, did, did you, like, before you guys even started, you were Hooray! just done? Good work. Now, I, that I, time I shot right on time. That's, that's what she didn't say? That is something I have <laughs> never heard once. Oh, dear. Should we, should we dedicate this, uh, this episode to Laura just with an apology at the start? <laughs> For multiple reasons. A, because we're talking about your sex life, and B, because, well, your sex life. Well, damn! You're doing not too bad. You're already at 920. No, you're not gonna. Oh, gonna I hit about. two players. So, anyway, you're bad at this game. You, I, <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. Hang on, I guess I'm jumping. Oh, wait, this is you now? This is me now. I guess I'll jump in on the next one. Hey, you know what? Uh, you suck. I'm not the one who just jumped into a bullet. I didn't... Listen here. Nice, well done. Don't die. I'll see what I can do. So, were they still using TI-83 graphing calculators when you were in high school? Uh, they're still using TI-83 graphic calculators now. Really? Yes. Has there not been any innovation in the graphing calculator world? No. They just reached a certain point that were like, you know what, that's good enough. We'll just use that until the end of time. Uh, apparently yes. Oh, wow, well, okay. Um, so the answer then to the question that I asked was just simply yes. Yes. Okay, good, thank you. Next time just answer the question, dick. Um, so, okay, I guess it's me now, huh? All right, so they're still using TI-83 graphing calculators. When you had yours, did you... I will kill you. Okay, so something that... Thank you. I currently have the arcade controls for both Player 1 and Player 2 mapped to the same thing so we didn't have to move around as we were playing games. Um, and Daniel was trying to fuck me up like a dick. When he ran into that bullet the first time, I was actually the one who did that. Oh, I guess they didn't. I guess they, the audience wouldn't know that, would that? Because you know they're not here. Um, so, when you had your TI-80, not even close. Did, when you had your TI-83 graphing calculator, did you have a Space Invaders on it? Mm -mm. No. I had Snake. Everyone had Snake. I mean, ever since the Nokia, the Nokia phones had Snake on them. Um, that uh, that's been like the staple for mobile devices. Keeping in mind that at the time, I uh -huh. was something like 13. Uh-huh. My favorite game I've ever seen on a, on a graphing calculator to this day is uh -huh. still Tom is Gay. What? Do you not remember that I, I stole your graphing calculator when I was in junior high and programmed in a little game that just said Tom is Gay? I don't. Like, it would just, when you, when you pressed start, it would go T-O-M, and then it would just pause for a second, and then go I-S, and then pause for a second, and then go G-A-Y, and then it would flash, Tom is Gay! <laughs> and apparently some of your friends stole your graphic calculator, saw it on your graphic calculator at one point in time and thought it was great. Are you proud of yourself? Oh, man. I was a comedic genius for a 13-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll give that one to you, but only because you claimed to be a comedic genius. By the way, I just mentioned Nokia Snake because you had Snake on your calculator. Mm -hmm. You know how influential Nokia Snake is? 
How influential is Nokia Snake? It's on the fucking list. I, uh, I was not paying attention. That's my game. I did not make 2,000 points. Well, way to fucking go. You made 1790. That's not too That's bad. That's 1390. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Well, in that case, uh, get good, son. No. Get bad, son? I don't need to get bad. Oh, okay. I started there. But uh, this, is a, this is a game I am perfectly happy to be a, fish, a filthy casual at. <laughs> Well, or I mean, a clean casual. I mean, just some kind of casual. Casual racist? Well, I mean, damn it. We are we are beating back the alien invaders. <laughs> the illegal alien invaders? I honestly, I hear Trump wants to build a wall. Oh man. Uh, so I have no how long, no idea how long this has been. It's probably not 20 minutes. You want to keep going? No. Less, less than anything you've ever done. I'm going to play one more time. One more time? One more time. See if I can top that 2030. It's going to be 2030 soon. Like, not real soon, but sometime within the next decade and a half. <laughs> it's <laughs> going to be 2030 sometime within the next 14 years and two weeks. Yes. Well, now you've dated this episode. I have. It's about to be Christmas. I was going to well, actually, I was going to go in a different direction. You've dated this episode. Was it good? Did they put out on the first date? <laughs> <laughs> did you take them to that nice Italian restaurant that you like? I did. What's that called again? Olive Garden? <laughs> I'm not that fancy. <laughs> Old Spaghetti Factory. Olive Garden, the fanciest of Italian restaurants. Honestly... I wish that there was, like, a well-known, like, Italian version of McDonald's that I could have taken them to. Yeah, they call it Olive Garden. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Olive Garden! How about that sponsorship? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna happen, right? Olive Garden, you should really sponsor us. I was just talking about how I take my first dates there. Yeah, see? Like, that is a glowing recommendation if I've ever heard one. Olive Garden, take your first dates there. Take if you don't want a second <laughs> date. Olive Garden, take your first date there. The dates you don't want to see ever again. You know what's sad? Hmm. This is like, actually, not really sad. It's kind of sad. It's pretty sad. Okay. Um, you know how uh, old people, uh, you know, lose it a little bit? Good, okay. <laughs> I, we're off to a great start here. Yeah. You know how old people are fucking, like, you know, senile and not valuable to society? Uh, that's basically where I'm going. <laughs> um, uh, one of my favorite things about Grandma and Grandpa was their idea of going out to a nice restaurant. Was, was Olive, Olive Garden. Garden. Now, I don't know why. I don't know, like, maybe Olive Garden was nice once upon a time. But it was just always hilarious to me that they're like, we're going to go out for dinner someplace nice. Olive Garden. And all I could think was... I wonder what would happen if they actually went someplace nice. Well, I mean, because it was Grandma and Grandpa, how how nice did they like their version of their 60th anniversary? They let their oh no, are we talking he, like, about this? What was he like? Uh, he was like eight at the time. No, less. Uh, he was less than that. Okay, that was 2006, right? Yeah, so he would have been like seven or so. so yeah, seven, or you might have been right. He might have been eight. Oh, I didn't um, think that was going to hit me. They let him pick the restaurant that they went to, and we went to, like, this... Uh, by the way, um, just so our... Now that our now that we're reaching this very intimate point with our viewers where we discuss our lives and things that will kill us... Okay. I am allergic to peanuts. Send Daniel peanuts. I'll send you his address later. Please do. It'll be great. Yeah. Um, I am, like, if I eat peanuts, it's a quick trip to the hospital. I stop breathing. Um, it's a good time for everyone involved. It's super great, especially so, when he does it. Was it, was it Christmas or was it someone's birthday? It was. It was Dad's birthday. Right. Good times. Wait, which one are we talking about? Because this has happened more than once. <laughs> are we true. talking about the at what was it, Marietta's? Yeah, it was that place down on White. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, now they know. We're, now they know we're at Edmonton. I'm just gonna bleep it all out. <laughs> okay. Um, but. For their 60th wedding anniversary, they allowed our seven-year-old cousin to pick the restaurant. You can guess how well that fucking went. So we wound up going to, like, this, like, 
I don't know. I'd say slightly above Boston pizza style uh, mm, back no, steakhouse. No one, no one in America knows what that is. There are Boston pizzas everywhere throughout America, except for funny enough, Boston. There are some Boston pizzas there. It's tr it's like a typically Canadian thing. It's like Tim Hortons. Fair Americans enough. know that Tim Hortons is a Canadian thing. Okay, what's a, what's a what's a what's a what's a Montana's low, Montana's cool yeah. Moxie's Moxie's is a little higher quality. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's you know, it was like a, a, a Applebee's. It's Applebee's. It's Applebee's. It's a low qual. It was like a slightly higher quality than Applebee's, like steakhouse with buckets of peanuts on the table, fucking everywhere. With, where the gimmick was that you were supposed to be like you you ate the peanuts and you could just throw the shells on the floor. So I walk in and I'm like, oh, good. <laughs> this is nice. This is my favorite thing that I could be doing with my time right now. Now, my favorite thing about that is, that's their fucking gimmick. It's like, hey, come to our restaurant and litter. <laughs> I, from what I've heard, that's not so much a gimmick as it is that's just sort of a thing with certain st types of uh, steakhouses where they just, you could just throw peanut shells on the floor. I don't know, I don't know why, but sure, if you like. The, the custodial staff needs something to do. They were tired of cleaning up the bathrooms. We wanted to give them something else to clean. <laughs> Hooray! Um, but yeah, like, Grandma and Grandpa still actually liked that for some reason, just because they, they were out with their family, and that's all that mattered to them. Yeah, and I mean, that really is it. They were just happy to be out with the fact that, I mean, neither of us, uh, do you have, do you have a plan to have kids anytime soon? Because I sure as fuck don't. Not anytime soon. I Like, I might one day, but I haven't ruled it out, but so the it's one, not on the to-do list. The one thing that I will say about who is our little cousin, I'll bleep that out, um is that he afforded grandma and grandpa the opportunity to have grandkids without actually having grandkids. So they were just happy to be out with him. Wait, what do you mean without actually having grandkids? Uh, no, I suppose you're right, because that's just... No, those sorry, are I mean grandkids. Great, I mean great, great grandkids. Great grandkids, yeah. Because yeah. they were late-stage grandkids. Yeah, they were, like, super late-stage grandkids. Anyway, that's the fucking end of that. Glad we don't need to play this game anymore, right? You're done with this game? I, I think we're good. All right, well, we made it all the way to... 20, 30 points. If we get if we get enough likes on this episode, we will one day tell the wishbone story. Oh no, we might. Oh, that was a close one. I did. And it burned a lot of your fuel. Yes, it did. But if I can land this. Well, hey, hey there, Internet. My name is Tom. And I'm Daniel. And we are brothers. We're going to play some games for you. Uh, we figured we would start this series off with uh, just an old game that we both played. 